Good morning. How guilty are the people? Today our, our uh, time takes us to Jeremiah 5, verses 7 to 11. How shall I pardon you for this? Your children have forsaken me and sworn by those that are not gods. When I had fed them to the full, then they had committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the harlot's houses. They were like well-fed, lusty stallions, everyone neighed after his neighbor's wife. Shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord, and shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? Go up on her walls and destroy, but don't make a complete end. Take away her branches, for they are not the Lord's. For the house of Israel and the house of Judah have dealt very treacherous with me, says the Lord. And isn't that the case? How guilty are the people? Pretty guilty. I mean, look at this picture. Jeremiah describes the his people as, as if they were armies of soldiers, you know, drawn up rank by rank in rows, and there they are waiting there at the harlot's houses. This is a picture of willful, regimented infidelity. I mean, this is, this is just about as bad as it gets. And so he asks, shall I not avenge myself on such a people as this? And we can all more or less agree. Well, yes, I guess so. But let's see what he does. So again comes the urgent command, I will not make a complete end. I will not do it. Take away her branches. Take away the branches. The branches are not the Lord's. But we're not going to make a complete end. So we might ask ourselves the questions, how is it that God's people are so able to sprout so many different branches that aren't the Lord's? Now for the answer to this, we go back to Genesis 3.15, and there we find, you know, that man has fallen. They chose self. They, they, they made their own decision. They rebelled against God. And God says in Genesis 3.15, I will put enmity between them and between the serpent and the woman and between her seed and, and his seed. So God has to put enmity. Uh, enmity is not there anymore. They sinned against God. And, and uh, as Ecclesiastes says, um, we're like people, we're, while we live, we have madness. And so we, we turn from, we're worshiping creatures, but we've turned from worshiping the true God to now we, we worship self. We're not emotionally able to, to handle that. That's not something that, peop, that humans are emotionally capable of sustaining. Every time you go there and get into the pride area, you, get, you, you can't make it. it. It just goes badly. It, it, it's the same for angels. Angels are created beings, and they are not designed to be worshiped. And so uh, Satan went this way, and, and we see the result. Uh, uh, angelic mad person. But you know what? God is not done yet. God still loves them. And although they've sprouted these alien branches, God is going to prune those, but he's going to bring them back. He's going to try to bring them back. That God-sized hole that's left open so that in Ecclesiastes 9.3, it says madness is in our hearts. God knows if he can, if he can just bring us back to that, if we can just turn to where we were designed to turn to. He'll be there for us. The substitutes that we try, none of it will satisfy us. And so God is working to bring us back. He has not left us to ourselves. Praise his name. He's trying to bring is the Judah back, and he's trying to bring us back. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, your patience is a lot better than ours, that's for sure. But because of your patience, we have hope. Lord, we all are designed to worship. We all have the God-shaped hole. We've talked about this a few other times, and it's always true. This is the human situation, and when humans are on sin, we, we're filling the only thing that can fulfill us. We're filling it with the wrong stuff. Help us, Lord, to be open to you. Please, Lord, turn our hearts, and then uh, use us so that others can be activated and, and come, to, uh, come to themselves and find the fulfillment that only you offer. Please, Lord, hear our prayer. In Jesus' name we ask, amen. So how guilty are God's people? Very, very guilty. God still wants to save them, and he still wants to save us. Oh, I pray the Lord will do his work. You have a wonderful day.